Okay, everybody. So, the Drop King is over there in Kansas City doing some amazing stuff, y'all. You want to hear about it? Here it goes. <laughs> Hey everybody, it is Tim Telling Tales, and I have some guests here with me. Everyone, I want you all to say hello to Mr. Isaiah King. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? And Antonio Tubb. What up? What up? <laughs> Boy, voice crispy, man. We in there. Now, you all may recognize these faces from the movies Drought. One and two. Yeah. But they actually are here and they're going to be telling you more about the movies as well as some of the other things that they've got going on. So before we do that, I always like to open up with a little fun game so that I can learn about who I'm talking to. So we are going to play a game of preferences. Now, I know you guys have watched me on some other interviews and y'all know these questions can get wild. But I'm not even going to do y'all like that. I'm going to be nice. Okay? Uh, I'm going to be nice. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to keep it PG. All right? All right? So here we go. This is for both of you. All right? Android or iPhone? iPhone. iPhone. White bread or wheat bread? Say again. White bread or wheat bread? Wheat, wheat bread. bread. <laughs> no question. Frosted Flakes or Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch. Oh, hold on, hold on. Man. Frosted Flakes is fire. As yeah, well. Frosted Flakes. I'm gonna yeah, go with I'm that. Gonna go with I'm gonna slide with that. That shit's great. Okay. Off the rip. <laughs> Martin or Fresh Prince? Martin. Fresh Prince. Martin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ford or Chrysler? Ford. Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> you know we like the cutlasses, man. You know what uh -huh. the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Y'all be like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got all the whips. <laughs> Convertible or SUV? Convertible. Convertible for sure. Mm -hmm. Sweet tea or lemonade? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ride with the sweet tea. I'm gonna go with the sweet tea on that one too, though. Yeah, real talk. Mm-hmm. I think I would go. With her. <laughs> yeah. Tubi or Netflix? Tubi. Tubi. Absolutely. No, Why? take out that drought. Cause that's Whoa. the only place to watch drought. Hey. Facts. They coming up. I ain't talking about slow mining too. Okay. Um. Regular line order or line order SVU. Regular, SVU. regular long order. Really? They put you up on game when the live stuff is going on right now. Yeah, they are dope though. I like I like them both, but I'm, I'm gonna go with SVU though. Man, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that regular long order is pretty dope though. They all yeah. Listen, they can yeah, all just watch the USA, USA and I be I be good to go. You know, before Tubi got mm -hmm. hot, yeah, I was definitely on the bench of Law and Order. In the heat of the night. DSI Miami. First 48. Yes, Criminal Minds. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. With the black dude, not the new ones they yeah, got yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, when Shamar Moore was still on here. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I like those. I, I like, like those. the hidden set girl, too. That'd be the computer mind thing. Y'all know what? This is what always happens. I, I just have a plan. And then somehow we just don't even be on the plan no more. You see how we just right, <laughs> right. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Um, power or the wire? The wire. Ooh. I'm gonna go with Hands the wire. Down. I'm gonna go with yeah. the wire. Yeah, yeah. The I be, wire was so cold. You know? Man, I be needing string of bell in my life. Okay, you right. <laughs> yep. yep, yep, yep. Um. I'm about to take it back on you. Uh -oh. Perry Mason or Matlock? Matlock. What? 
No, man, that is not a brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lock. Lock. yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. That's I wish we could have heated tonight, man. I would have been biting down on that, though. Yeah. Listen, so here, let's <laughs> ask that one. In the New heat York got the cover, though. It, wait, uh, in the heat of the night or a Little House on the Prairie? Oh, uh, man. I'm going to go heat of the night. I'm going to go House on the Prairie. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, I said I was not prayer. expecting that. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was expecting for you to be down down in Sparta, Mississippi. Hmm. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, Facebook or Instagram? I like Facebook. I, I like I like oh. Facebook too. Instagram kind of boring to me for real. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a Facebook girl myself. Uh. All right, so let's see what y'all say. Baptist or Kojic? Baptist. Baptist. Okay. And last question for you. Tam telling tales or anybody else? You. You. We rocking with you. Off the rip. Hey. All right. You represent the Midwest. <laughs> Show. Thank you, gentlemen. You know Thank you so much for that. Right. No, there's, there's no pressure. There's no pressure for you to say me on, on the show. No no real. That ain't, hey, it's no question. Let's Thank it. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So now that we know a little bit about you guys, uh, from a personal aspect, why don't we start talking a little bit more about you guys in the film industry? So, Antonio, do you want to go first? Uh, I mean, uh, I would say, you know, as far as film industry, you know, goes, uh, I started out, you know, Pacel Performing Arts. That's where I started out at. And uh, I, I dibble and dabble with music, you know, so I make beats and rap and sing and stuff, you know. Okay. But outside of that, I always had a passion to uh, get on this big screen and do some acting. So... It was just one of those things where he just happened and just hit me out of the blue and was like, hey, man, you want to play a cop? And I know, I, I mean, it's a stigma, you know, some people got, but I'm I'm a mature, I'm a man, you know, I'm a grown man, I'm mature. So I just looked at it like that's a that's a, that's a good role to play, you know, because you're going to need that sort of antagonist in that in, in that role, you know, to, uh, to support the actual movie, you know. So I was I was all in. You know, with a military background, I think that's why he he, he uh selected me. A military background, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what branch did you in? I was in the army. Okay then. What they what do the army people say? Is it is it hoorah? Hoo. Yeah, who are hoorah. 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 Okay. Hoorah. Okay. Oh. And I say okay. hoo. <laughs> okay then. Well, Yes. Mr. King, <laughs> I see you over there. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about how you got into the acting field? It kind of fell in my lap. Uh, I was selling my clothing brand at first, pushing my uh, my product, uh, Drought Snacks, Drought Water, Drought Magazine. And then uh, one of my uh, fellas was just, uh, we was on the porch drinking a little bit. And then um, he was just like, bro, I think you should just do a movie. And the next day, I just started filming. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, it was that easy, huh? Yeah, I didn't go to school for it or anything. I just, you know, I, I just knew that the, the, the city needed something different. But I wasn't thinking of that at the time. But after I stayed with it and stayed consistent, it kind of just fell in my lap how to, like, actually, you know what I'm saying, put it all in progress. And then it just took the flight from there. Okay, so what year was this? Was that 2020? Uh, 2021. Yeah, 21. 21 started filming in 2021. Okay, and that's when Drought One first came out. That's when Drought One came about. Yep, and then uh, that was during the time of uh, COVID. Uh huh. And then uh, I... sold out the theater, uh, the BMB theater in Overland Park and down here in Kansas City. And then uh, once we did that, we made history. And then off the, off the flip, we just knew we had to do a Drought Two. Yeah. And then from there, it just it just made more history. And then you know, that's how it came about. Yeah, people wanted more. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Uh huh. The first one was based off of uh, some of my, most of my history that I've uh, been through. Because, <clears throat> like, uh, 
the majority of my movie is all facts. And I, I actually went to jail. I actually got pulled over. I actually had the, jail, the cops on me like that. I mean, all of it was kind of like reality. So it kind of came to me easier because I was just envisioning everything that I've been through and where I came to now. So it's like it really took a part of me trying to you know rehearse what I've been through in my life. So yeah, that's how it came about for real. Okay. Look at you. Now, one thing I do notice is that throughout the movies, we always see the apparel. Uh, and so tell us about your apparel line. Uh be honest with you, uh, I stayed I was stayed in Atlanta for about off of, well, I stayed in Atlanta off and off for about about 10 years. And I had ran into a couple of people that was uh, pushing a clothing brand called Drugs, which is Do Right You Gain Success. And uh, oh. it took off. And I started tapping in with a lot of different celebrities. And I started soaking game and learning how to push a clothing brand. And then next thing you know, I got uh, informed with the actual owner. And uh, they liked the way I was pushing it. And they liked the way that I was like bringing it to reality and bringing it to life. And then something went left. And I, uh, you know, just attached with Ritz I mean, attached myself from it and just started mm -hmm. my own brand. That's how it came about. So you just <laughs> CEO of everything. Making movies, making clothes, all of the connections, doing what you need to do. So what would you say is the most fun? Is it making the movies, acting in the movies, or designing your um, clothing brand? I mean, to be honest, I can't even tell you because they all in one. You know what I mean? So it's like without selling clothes, without doing a magazine, without doing the drop snacks, I can't provide to make the movie happen because that's what pays for the movie. So without the hustle, ain't no, ain't no vision, ain't no, ain't no. So that's what I, you know, that's what that's what comes together. Without my clothing brand, what actually brings the fact the drop films together because that's where it started from. So I always got product and I always got things I got to sell. So it's kind of like work together. So. It gives me a, a better peace of mind when I'm doing that more than anything. So all of them together is like it's it's my it's my uh, microcosm. Yeah, it's my peace. It's my peace of mind. It's my it's my my out my out out outlet of everything. Got you. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> it definitely ain't Not easy. Some... I that. It ain't I, easy. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, I'm from Detroit, so you know what they say: Detroit hustle harder. So oh, yeah. we used to a grind. We we yeah. know what it takes to work and get it done. So when you say that, I totally understand. Definitely, definitely. Now, Antonio, you mentioned that you do music and everything, and yeah. you got bit by the acting book. So yeah. you like acting more or the music? Uh. I I'll that. be honest. I like the acting more, you know. But uh, uh, you know, doing doing music, I, I like making beats more than anything, you know. But uh, I mean, it's always one of them things. After I make the beat, I gotta write the I gotta write the track. So you know, I try to make it all come come to life, you know. And that's that's more why I like acting more okay. because uh, you get to see something come to life, you know. Something that you was thinking, you get to bring it to fruition. You know, because yep. you spoke it, you know, you thought it first and then you spoke it and then actually it's doing it, you know. So, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It's something about that acting. It's a lot of uh, musicians who end up going into acting. Oh, yeah. They always, they always seem to, you know, gravitate in that area because when you think about it, a lot of times you have to. Even mm -hmm. when you're performing, you know, you're performing. Oh, yeah. Music yeah. You, you have perform to sell it through the microphone. You got to sell it through the microphone. Yep. I totally agree. So I don't, you have to tell me where to find your music. You got to let us know where you at. Yeah, yeah. I'm on I'm on all platforms. I uh, got a lot of stuff getting ready to start dropping, too. Uh, but yeah, you can just type in Royce Crispy, R-Y-C-E-K-R-I-S-P-I-E. But uh, yeah, and I'm on there. Hey, I'm gonna check I produce out. for a lot of people, so you know. But uh, I just now just feel like I just want to come out more with more of my music, you know, and come from behind the scenes, you know. Okay, so behind the scenes, 
So I know that you're acting because you played a detective guy that ain't really, you know, <laughs> not really one of my favorites. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> say that. Listen. That was, that's, that's what he's there for. Yeah. He pulled up on some, yeah, you my friend. I'm just trying to look out for you. And your boy was like, nah, pimp. <laughs> We work together. <laughs> Push out. We're not friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is my job. And when I leave here and go home, like, you're not invited to the cookout. It's right. pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty much how he was treating you. And I mean, that made sense because you know everybody don't be wanting to hang out with their boss. And then oh. you know, you you know, he kind of like you know, semi the good one. You know, what fun. Yeah, you're not that. You're, you know, I'm all, not, I'm all suited up and everything, you know. All, right. all uh, you know tight shirts. Did you have a tie on? Like, yeah. it just looks so <laughs> straight laced, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, just so ugh. according to the rules, kind of guy. Tight, yeah, all tight. No, like, you probably don't even take no pack of paper home from. from <laughs> no. <the pack> home, <laughs> you know. Not at all. Yeah. You was giving them vibes. Like you you be putting the pins back after you use them in the same yeah, spot yeah. Like, yeah. No, nobody wanna play with you. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was his character. That's how he yeah. played yeah. that part. But I mean yeah, yeah you played yeah. that part well. So when he was going off on you, I was like, hi hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't really I ain't really care I for you people, now. I get people to come up to me now, they like, man. Hey, you play that role, but man, I hated you. I'm like, oh, God. I'm like man, that, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, and that's what Word. you want when you're acting in a role. Like, you want somebody to either really, really love you or really, really hate you. Right. Yeah, right. they really kind of hated you. Yeah. Right. And, it, yeah. and what's so crazy about your role is that you weren't even a, like a bad guy for real. You just <laughs> weren't likable. Yeah. Just, no, I don't. I don't have it for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> so that just that just speaks to how dope of a character you played. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Uh huh. Absolutely. Now, um, Isaiah, you have um, been out on a scene, uh, doing your thing for a while. We've got photos with you with all kinds of other actors and things of that nature. So who has been some of the other um, actors that you've had the opportunity to work with? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't remember all their names. I just know uh, a lot of them are from Detroit uh, who I plan on working with uh, coming moving forward is uh, Murder Pain. Detroit. Okay. Um, hey. I plan on working with one of the guys you did interview with the light skinned cat with the braids that I didn't really like as an actor in the last movie you did. <laughs> and you beat the girl up. Uh, you talking Tristan. about Tristan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Boy, he, <laughs> that role. He, he did it. He did one of the roles where I feel like I could probably do that role, but the way this the hate came with that movie, I was like, I don't know if I want that hate right there. That was Ooh. about he catches it. Do you understand me? Like they don't call, they don't even want to call him by his name. They be like Scott. You be like, yeah, Scott. That was, is, yeah. It's that like man is not Scott. It, it was something amazing. And I, I mean, when I seen it, and I'm, I've seen most of the movie that he did was you know what he was in and everything like that. I mean, he played a lot of different characters, but that uh -huh. character right there just took like a whole of me like. You could relate to it if you really was from the street or the industry or like just knowing in your head you try to have your cake and ice cream and eat it too. But the reality of it is, is like it was it was an unbelievable like uh way he did that character. I was just like, bro, like that was he really showed out for that one. Yeah, I wanted to work with John Singleton, but he passed. I mean, I believe he passed. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. Spike Lee. Uh who else? Uh Divica Fox, I wanted to work with her. She reached out to me. Um, oh, so yeah, you know, Vivica really seems like she has her um she has a, a um a connection with the independent yeah, uh, yeah. Film definitely right now. Like she does not mind 
you know, grinding it out with people who may not have as much prestige in the in the field as her or other people, but she will give you a shot. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's she's she's definitely a sweetheart, despite what her and 50 Cent been through. Uh, I definitely want to work with 50 Cent, though, for sure. Yeah. Uh, who else? 50 Cent guy. You know, he 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 oh, seems man. interesting. It definitely, my 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 choice of, of uh, wisdom and knowledge and basically like uh, getting more experience with is uh, Tyler Perry and uh, Master P. Master P. Yeah. Okay, yeah, those are some good people to you know aspire to because they did some great groundbreaking things um, yes. in the industry. You know, what I'm saying Master P with music and Tyler Perry uh, with film. I mean, you know, when I think about where he started. Mm -hmm. And where he is now is so inspiring. Like if you gonna look up to somebody, that's 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 the kind of person to look up to. I can recall hearing him talk about you know doing stage plays where, you know, the theater is barely has people in it, right? right? Up now, he has a studio. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. So that is inspiring. Yeah. So that's definitely. I like to work with Cube. You know, Ice I Cube. Definitely, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why they mentioned Ice Cube. Yeah. Ice Cube is definitely one of the people. Uh, Chris Rock, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 what's the dude's name? Uh, he played in uh, man, what's the name of that movie? Man, I forgot the name of that movie. Man, him and his wife was married together. They played in this movie called uh, what's that dude's name? Man, yeah. wait, I, wait. You say it's the husband and wife? Yeah, the husband and wife. They played together. They was uh, Cube. Angela, you talking about Angela? Uh, talking Angela, about, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, Angela, uh, Angela, 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 uh, he's he's uh the host and you know the one of the guys is down here in Fox Four News. And big, he big film critic, big film critic. Like he he he's my uh mentor. he's my mentor, sure. and uh he he, he introduced to us so many people in the industry. It's like it's a blessing. So I definitely got I got my hands in the, I got my hands in the pot, but we just we just now stirring it up though. Okay, so you know, I've kind of interjected. I've talked about you know some of the characters from the movie Drought. So, just in case there's somebody watching who has not actually seen it, why don't you, um, either one of you actually give us you know a little synopsis of the movie? Plural, uh, Drought was just based off of a. Uh three kids that grew up with different uh outlooks on life uh one was a truck driver one was a street hustler and one was a cop and then uh as they grew up in the midst of all of that which is royce's the other cop uh you know he's one of the uh the cousins nobody just wanted to play with which is royce but as long away he became one of these high top detectives and next thing you know uh he just uh we all just end up finding a way to link, I mean, link back up, I should say that. And then uh, things went left from there because we all, it was a drought on money. You know what I'm saying? We had to come up with a plan and a, and a, and a way to, to make some money because our ends weren't meeting the way we wanted to. And as the, 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 um, the street cat, which was King, he already knew how to work out how to make some money, but he just wanted to make sure the people, you know, the two guys that he grew up with was down for it, which was not their, uh, their way of living, but he knew how to get in and make it happen, so that's how it became with the, you know, uh, robbing the club and getting the, the other the other detective that was working with Ross, I mean, uh, Royce, and uh, everything kind of just played its part and fell into play like that. Yeah. So everybody, you know, if you are, if that's your, if that's your lane, then you want to make sure that you are checking out Drought. Now, oh, yeah. Drought 1, you want to check out Drought 2. And then you are working on Drought 3, right? I am. Currently, I'm working on the film of Drought 3, uh, King's Revenge. Uh, Drought 2 is currently going to be back on uh, Tubi 
uh, in like 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 two weeks. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm currently right now. Family drive three, and uh, okay. you got to see drive two, man. I mean, drive two is something that yeah. you don't want to miss. Like once you hit that famous, like it's gonna take you away. You might even cry. I would say that much. Okay. Now that's part one to make me cry. Yeah, I mean, because you got to tap in with every, 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 every part of the world. You know what I mean? And, and it, like I said, most of the movies and the films that I do do, it's really kind of more of a relative uh, situation and where people can actually relate to it on their own regular day to day life. So, with that being said, it's it's it's, it's something that you don't want to miss once it, once it hits uh, on two or three. But drive through, we are currently working on that. Uh, we probably like two weeks in, and we got a bigger production team and okay. two or three major actors. Yeah, that's what's up. So I'm super excited to see that. Um, and I think that we have a trailer that we like to show everybody right now for drought. Yeah, appreciate that. Anything about that shit? What are you telling me that for? You hang out with that uh, guy, uh, King, King, right? We was childhood friends, man. That's Bullshit, it. Bullshit, man. I know you know what What are you telling me this? What you want my fucking bag? Take my fucking bag! Yeah. My whole life, my whole life, they never gave me nothing. My whole life, my whole life, I really got me something. Life, I made sacrifices through every crisis. I ain't never fold up. When Christmas came, I used to wait for Santa Claus. God damn it, y'all, he never showed up. Many times I had my feelings hurt. Mama sick, but she was still in church, giving tithes and offering. But I'm tired of offering nothing more to give. I need a million first. Fall to my knees and I pray for it. I hope today is my day for it. My outcome is my income. This wasn't enough for me to save for it. Damn, I don't wanna have to sell no crap. Uh -uh. If a nigga can't sell no rap, I took a leap around to I don't work for the post office, I'm just trying to get my mail on track I used to call me Ace, let me watch what I say Somebody might tell on that That might get him some bad time That might get you a headline I remember being wide awake Cause I still hadn't ate and it was bedtime, no lie Stay strong, young nigga, don't cry I don't ask a lie, I used to ask my pops to put the drink away You gon' die, that's when he told me he was gon' die Doing what he wanted And about the murder <clears throat> You don't know anything about the murder? You don't know anything it's the name uh, King Ring of put a price on it. I am everything that I say I am. I can put my life on it. How I feel today, I got bills to pay. Gas, water, rental lights on it. So I'm counting up. It gotta count for something. Wanna count me? Y'all think twice on it. My whole life, I wanna got me something. something. My whole life, my whole life, they never gave me nothing. Now, you guys, in addition to drought, these gentlemen are out here continuing to work. So, Isaiah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what else you're working on? Uh, currently, at the same time, I'm working on Drought 3, uh, filming Drought 3, like I say. I'm also filming two other movies, which is uh, called Mad City. Uh, it's about basically like how my city is and people really got their own ideas and perspective on how our city really is. But the reality of it is like I'm bringing you into our home and showing you like how we actually really like move and how we get down. And that's Mad City. That's gonna be uh being uh uploaded on Tubi, Tubi, and also a uh, YouTube here currently, also Amazon Prime. And uh I'm also working on another movie, so the women can relate. Uh they also kept telling me to work on a woman's movie and give that feel good for women. Uh the name of the movie is called the movie Janae. And uh, it's gonna give you that lifetime feel. So yeah, that's 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 the project I'm working on right now. So together I'm working on like three films. Okay, then. Look at you working, <laughs> staying busy, which means I'm gonna need for y'all to buy these shirts. Oh, yeah, I, I, got, I, got, got, some, I got some. I keep them on hand. I keep them on hand. You know, what okay, I'm we got to fund, yeah. we got to fund these movies. And so, y'all know how it is. Y'all know what the grind is. Y'all know what the hustle is. Something's yeah. got to be able to pay for all of the great productions to happen. So, oh, y'all make sure y'all head over to the website and y'all grab y'all t shirt now. Or yeah, two, the, the, or seven. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you go ahead and give them the website? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the drought. Uh, the name of the website is called Drought D R U T Apparel dot com. Okay. Yeah. So y'all make sure y'all head over there. Y'all grab up your t-shirts 
And then you also want to make sure that you are watching the movie. So we already have Drop One that's out and available for you guys to watch right now on Tubi. Yes, ma'am. And then once Drop Two drops, y'all make sure y'all are on the lookout for that. It's coming real So We're at, of course, Tubi. Right, and right, then right. keep your ear to the ground because they are working on drought three, y'all. But I'm just here addressing suckers who act like hoes. Really hating on the low. I, I was just in the background stuffing racks down in the flow. Now a nigga on go. And I ain't fucking around. I'ma pull a couple racks out and rock a packed house when I come to your town. Every city they loving the sound. Niggas wanna catch a wave now. And we standing on business, niggas, so everybody gotta pay now. That's law. If it's that street shit, everybody give y'all something to really think about. It's not being every theater, AMCs, uh, the B and B's, your locals, that you're not locals, you know what I mean? But we definitely pushing, man, to get this last this last push where you know the the the, the the filming industry really kind of was was lacking a little bit based on bringing out good movies to me and uh we want y'all to know Ken city's still here man we, we repping hard you know what i'm yeah. saying we ain't left with nowhere i'm sure like i said we want to collab with anybody anybody want to do anything with us i mean definitely you know what I'm saying? you can get my information and everything like that but besides that Ken city here to stay we are in the filming industry too sure. so that's what we try to put on our, our city on the map yeah I mean, I I've, I've done the drought installments. I uh, got picked up by a few other um, filmmakers as well. You know, uh, shout out to Pudgy Entertainment. Uh, shout out to Chef Boy Cheese. Chef Boy definitely coming uh, up again. I'm in a film called a uh, series called Eight Days. It's okay. on. Uh, I want to say it's on YouTube. I don't know if it's made it to Tubi yet. Uh, oh. And there's another series that's getting pitched to Peacock and Netflix. It's called uh, Return of the Sheehan. And it's a series too, yep. you know. And uh, and I'm also filming another movie called uh, Troublesome right now, with uh, with um, Mario, uh, Three Moons film. So it's in uh, it's in pre production right now. So we just we going in, and I'm actually playing a a, a villain this time. So, okay, look at you, yeah. talk your talk then. You yeah, so we been having fun with it. I play the cop again in uh, eight days. And you know, I was like, they 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 wanted that detective, you know, and that's kind of his character, right? Yeah, yeah. so they, they wanted that. So I'm like, okay, you, know, you gonna be I'm a likable cop or no? Huh? We gonna we gonna like you in this one or no? You still gonna be nah. Like, uh, nah. <laughs> you know what? It's hard to like cops. I actually it. deliver some really good comedic relief. Um, <laughs> yeah, y'all probably gonna like me. Okay. <laughs> I to be okay. honest, like he, he's really a he's really a crooked cop. You got you gotta. You gotta really see it to, to understand it. <laughs> Every movie is really a crooked cop. He's just a quiet cop. Okay, well, once you say crooked, then I'm here for it. <clears throat> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Shout out to my uh, my my, uh, my big homie man, uh, Court Dog. He's out there. He's Master P right here, man. He's out there in LA right now, making big noise and yeah. also promoting me like crazy in LA. So I, when I say I'm getting close to Master P, is definitely going to happen. So you just don't see a lot of big things happening in the next couple of months. Next couple of months. Yeah, he, well, he, 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 mentioned, uh, he mentioned the drop film on No Jumper. Yeah, and uh, that was that was like a big push right there, you know. Okay, uh, then getting all kinds of shout outs. You know, a lot of the independent films are getting a lot of love in yeah. you know bigger arenas. You know, a lot of celebrities are talking about them and stuff like that. And with the writer strike that's been happening, it has just been a playground for the filmmakers like they are doing their thing because a lot of the people that's you know um in the union they can't work and you know all of the legalities of that stuff but right. here it is a prime opportunity for a lot of you to thrive and i'm so glad to see and hear that that's what's happening just yep, taking the opportunity so congratulations to both of you because y'all is out here working 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 like slaves you can say you know <laughs> but we love it it's fun don't get it wrong it is fun it is hard work uh you got to stay consistent but it's definitely gonna pay off yep absolutely i agree with you now of course we know that i am a advocate of literacy you know, so I'm always encouraging people to read, you know, once they turn off Tubi, 
you know, they can grab them up a book and read a little something. So I'm curious when you guys are not reading scripts, what other types of books do you like to read? All right, well, I'm gonna be honest. The first movie it wasn't no script. We did that was just off the top. Word. Yeah, it wasn't no scripts involved. Was nothing. It was like everybody in that and that and that first movie was all kind of like I would say we all grew up together. And we all winging it. Like, huh? Wait. So hold on. I want to make sure I'm clear on this. There was not any portion of the movie that was written down on paper. No. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> nah, I was just well, I pull up to the scene. He like, hey. <laughs> This is what I want you to, you know, I want you to do some impromptu, and I want wow. you to get to it. I know you can do it. Get out of there. <laughs> I mean, it, it was more, it was, it was yeah. more, it was more like he should. He tell you a vision. I'll tell you what I what I want you to say, but then I'll let you do your own thing on it. But if I don't like it, it's cut. But at the end of the day, it was like wasn't no scripts involved at all in the first movie. And the first movie is like was almost like at a million. It's like almost at a million views. Uh, but wow. yeah, it, it was no scripts involved at all. It was like you could really see like everybody really was like together on that one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. uh, drought too as well. But uh, was it like you said the, it was like that with drought too as well, or or no? No, I had to actually no. Actually, I had a right to drought. I had a right drought too. Okay. Okay. I was like, yeah, I, I got some. Like I said, Sean, it was like, yeah, man, go ahead, write yeah. drought too though. You want to start getting paid and get this stuff to get. Right drought too, but I mean that's I mean it it, it gave me a uh it was a headache because I, I never yeah I never this was never my dream or my 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 my, my thing for her. I you never see the trans this. you can see the transition, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. it, it was drought too, in my opinion, you know, uh was more more polished, you know. You can see him being becoming more polished, you know, with, with, with the craft and, and, and actually understanding and and not saying that he didn't take the first one serious, but the first one was more like on the fly. And he was like, yeah. hey, I had an idea. Second is more like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go this way. And I did see it was more organized, too, you know, with Drought 2. <coughs> now, 3 is just more like, hey, man, yeah, he, he, he's in there. <laughs> so you see good, better, and you see bets, you know? Okay. So it's like, it's good. They all good, but it, it, in their own rights. You know what I mean? So it's it, I, I like it. I, I just I seen a lot of growth from this dude. So definitely, it's dope. It's dope. That's you know, I love to hear it. I we mean, in the Midwest. We yeah. don't have Hollywood. You know, next to us. You know, so yeah. So uh, you know, like I see a lot of people. You know, when they make the memes and stuff like that, or they post the other stuff, it's still promotion, and it's still uh, it's still motivation. You know, yeah. for other people. You know, that's that that's thinking of. Hey, man, I always wanted to act. Yeah, you know, something that was kind of shy, very inspiring, or, or, or and inspiring, you know. Yeah, so you get you get that you get that uprise from 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 your common people that are really talented. But you lose a lot of people though. You, when you when you mm -hmm. when you actually doing something, standing around like minded people, you start losing the people that you just feel like it's not necessary to do those things, and you got to stay out of trouble. You got to stay on your p's and q's. But the reality of it all is, you start losing a lot of people that you really thought was like really there for you. So they see like. You really want to do something different to make something better out of your life. So, with this movie, it kind of saved my life and it helped me be more of a good father. Uh, you know, what oh. saying know exactly what I want to do and, and take advantage of it. So that's what I'm doing. Plus, like I said, been around like-minded people. Behind the scene, we still got our our education. We still got our businesses we run. We still got our families to feed, mm -hmm. and we are just like good like-minded people. So it, it definitely it, it comes with a lot, but. You gotta stay with the people that love to see you do something better with us. I agree with you. I agree. So you guys tell me about a genre of book that you like to read. Uh I go uh well, I read a lot of different type of books. <laughs> uh okay. but uh, one that I like um is the way to a superior male. Uh it's a pretty good book. And uh, say again. I said I read that one. Of yeah, course, it was I just suggested it to me. I'm like, this is a target for a man, but I'm gonna read it anyway. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I have another book about you know orgasms and stuff like that. You know that I read. Did you say uh, orgasms? <laughs> yeah. Like sexual orgasms. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was like, you was reading a book about that. You gotta always attend to, to women. Women, well, yeah. Listen, them. okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, rich dad, poor dad, uh, mystery books, uh, you know, like I say, a lot of uh, CSI books, uh, a lot of like, uh, you know, um, into like first 48 type of, uh, you know, things like that, but like books, like this not was, books for days. Okay. This was a really good one right here. Oh, wait, what's the okay? I can't see that. Good. Tell me, uh, game, game over by easy game. Uh, over. He was in a okay. uh, he was in paid paid in full. Okay. And uh uh he played that, you know, uh uh well uh eight uh not uh what do we uh um, nah 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 he played uh Wood Harris. The one in the one in the cleaners. Yeah, oh. yeah, Wood Harris, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's called Game Over. It's a pretty good book though. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, another one is uh, laugh your way to a marriage, to a uh, to a happy marriage, to a better marriage. Listen, so you got the collection, collection, <laughs> okay, over there in the studio, cause see, you about to make me pull that out. So, All so, right, yeah, ladies, uh, you know, men actually do do read. You know what I'm saying? We we really read. Uh, another one. Hold on. Hold okay, on. listen, I'm here the for five it. love languages. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just yeah, yeah, doing that interview, in. and they uh, y'all like relationship that? rescue. You feel me? Listen, I because I'm I'm a lover. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lover. Listen, you know I'm Antonio, I and I'm a fighter you. though. You feel me? I'm a fighter now. Okay, like, okay, now wait a minute, because you know what I'm saying? You showing but, you know, out. You showing out. You about to make me grab up some books? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold you know, on. I like cars and stuff too, so you know. Okay. You know, okay. See, DM. We don't mess with Ford over here. <laughs> Listen, if I could, if I could get up and move without being concerned, I was gonna drop my devices or something. Y'all would be able to see my book wall, my book and movie yeah. wall. That's all. Okay, right. So let me tell y'all about some of my favorites. Um, it's one called A Child of God. That was by I heard that before. I heard that. That's, I heard that's a good it's word. so good. It's not. It's not like a uh, churchy one though. Like that, the title would definitely throw you off. It's it's yeah. not churchy at all. Um, my like absolute favorite is called Black by Joan Vassar. I am a historic fiction girl. Mm. Like yeah, I love I, I love too. old stuff. I love old stuff. So that um, another one called Perfect Peace by Daniel Black. Um, the Darkest Child by Dolores okay. Phillips. Yeah, um, have y'all heard of Moth to a Flame by no. Ashley Antoinette? Yes, now, yes, I have. Yeah, I have. Okay. Yeah, yes. Ashley Antoinette, um, her and her husband, Jaquavius, they just produced a movie called Everything is Both on mm, Tubi. So y'all might have heard about that one. Um, yes. And the guy, what's his name? Jason Mitchell? Is that on Tubi? Yep, it's on Tubi. Yeah, I, seen that. I, I just watched that movie yesterday. Yep, yep, it's on there. Yes, I see that. Yeah, because I, I always think like like a lot like of the it. movies that we watch were first the book. So I I ain't gonna start pulling out everything, you know. What I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm gonna let you stunt, Antonio. I'm gonna let you do your thing <laughs> on the book. See, That's everybody know how I get down. So yeah. I'm glad to give you the opportunity to show the world that uh, men do read. Okay? Yes, I do. Definitely do. Okay. Definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> And we got oh. our education, and we graduated. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let them know. <laughs> yeah, so got college degrees, you know what I'm saying? Listen, let them know. You yeah. guys, thank y'all so much for being here with me. Um, before we go, I want to make sure that you tell everybody where they can find you on all of your social medias. Uh, you want to go first? I uh, think you go first, man. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? Well, you, you can find me on Facebook called Drop King. Uh, on uh, Instagram, it's uh, filmmaker Isaiah King. You can catch my movie, our movie, on Tubi right now. It's streaming. It's doing good numbers. It's called Drought. Uh, be looking out for Drought too. Uh, and also again, my website, some of my clothing brands called DroughtApparel.com. That's D-R-O-U-T Apparel. That's one together dot com. Yeah, you can catch me on Facebook, uh, Royce Chris. I mean Royce K. K-A-Y, so it's Royce, and then K-A-Y is the last name. 
You can catch me on Instagram, Royce Crispy, and on YouTube, I got a, a, a show that I produce myself where I actually talk to myself. So it's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? I get, on there, I get on there and I just be playing around, man. I'm kicking it with me. So I clone, they clone Tyrone, but I've been cloned, you know what I'm saying, Antonio, I've been cloned Royce, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so Jamie Foxx, man, you, you know what I'm saying, you need to tap in with me. But uh, yeah, you can catch me on there, and if y'all need beats, you can go to RoyceKTV.com, and that's R-O-Y-C-E-K-T-V.com, and I got beats on there, you know, you can, you can see my talent, you know, right there. And, and if you uh, don't like the selection that's on there or you want something similar to that, hit me up. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank, you. thank God. For sure. And you look amazing, too, by the way. Thank you so much. Oh. That's probably what took you so long. <laughs> yeah, she was in it. Yeah, I promise that's not what took long. But you know I what? I promise that wasn't it. Scott, 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 the one that told her to uh, uh, do her makeup like that. You know what? Don't do that. <laughs> Scott did that. Don't do Where that. He at? Let me, listen, Where let me he tell at? you about that. Let me tell you what happened with that, though. I had saw him the day before. We were doing that interview in person, and when I tell you, oh, I was a hot mess. Oh, I was a hot mess. So, <laughs> like, the transition too. from the day before to when we were interviewing, that's why he said it. Yeah. That's why he said he was like, oh, we just want to acknowledge the fact that you looked a, a bum mess. You no, know, yeah. Scott's pay for it, though. Yeah, it gets you in there. <laughs> it gets you in there. It gets you right. <laughs> nah, I don't think I want Scott to pay for nothing over this way. Okay. <laughs> I'm straight. Mm -mm. That that hairstyle will be way too expensive. It's going to cost way more than the money in his pocket. I got time for that. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little spritz on this hair, man, and go on about my yeah. business, okay? Oh, <laughs> well, gentlemen, hey, thank you so much for being with me. Let me ask you one question, though, uh -huh. before we scoot out here. Sure. So if I was coming to the D, right? Uh-huh. Where, what place would you recommend me to go eat? Oh, you got to go to a Coney Island. And it's got to be awesome. in the city. And it can't be downtown. You guys, it has been an awesome evening here with Isaiah King and Antonio Tubbs. These guys out of Kansas City are doing big things. Y'all make sure that you check out their movies like Check out everything that they're doing. Okay, they already told y'all where to find them, so make sure that you are checking them out. And y'all know what I always say. I'm Tim. I'm telling Tim's. Read a book. <laughs>